Hi, it's me again, and I found a headline that made me smile a bit. I thought we could read the story together and maybe have a bit of a chat about it. You ready? BBC faces real challenge over TV licence fee over declining willingness to pay, Minister warns. <laughs> That's a good headline. I like reading the headline that says people don't want to pay the TV licence. Makes me very happy. I don't get out much, you see. The declining willingness of Britons to pay the TV licence is going to become a real challenge for the BBC, Media Minister John Whittingdale warned yesterday. Now, I'm not a big fan of John Whittingdale. I'm 40 years old, and when I turned 18, I got a birthday card from John Whittingdale. Bit, I don't like that. I don't like that. Here, please vote for me. You can vote now. Please vote for me. Sod off. And he's been a git and all. And he, he's still my local MP, and he hasn't responded to anything... I've ever asked him, and he's media minister, and you'd think, you know, he'd want to engage with me somewhat. No, nothing. And I'm not a fan of him anyway, so that's probably why he doesn't want to talk to me. Anyway, rant over, let's continue. A million households have stopped paying the charge over the past two years. Good, love that. Wish it was more than a million, but it's a good start, it's a good start. According to the corporation's annual report, the recent health crisis led to a 700,000 decline in licences purchased in the last financial year. Not bad. You know, when you pinch people's money and you put them out of work or you put them on furlough or whatnot, they start looking at what's important to pay for. And the TV licence, I'm sorry, is not important to pay for, is it? Speaking at the Edinburgh TV Festival, Mr Whittingdale said, I think it's inevitable that certain trends which are now already clearly visible will continue. And those are going to put real challenges on all UK public service broadcasters. Well, there's only two UK public service broadcasters, isn't there? BBC and Channel 4. But Channel 4 fund themselves with adverts. So it's not putting a squeeze on them because people aren't stopping paying for Channel 4, John Whittingdale, are they? They want to stop paying for the BBC. So it's not putting a stretch on any other public service broadcaster apart from the BBC. So I think this debate is about how we sustain public service broadcasting is only just beginning. Yeah, show adverts. Show adverts. It's done. Channel 4 managed it. Why can't the BBC? Viewers who only use streaming services such as Netflix to watch on-demand shows do not need a TV licence. Can you believe that's actually written in a newspaper? It's one of the first times I've seen it. Well done, Daily Mail. Last year, ministers kicked off negotiations on how much the licence, currently £159, will cost from 2022. Well, it's not going to change. It can only go up. It can't go down because that's only a mid-term review for the TV Licence Charter, and they can't bring it down or scrap it or anything. You've got to wait till 2027 if you want to see real change, and that's what we're all fighting for here. If you're new to this channel, that's what we're all fighting for here. In the festival closing debate, Mr Whittingdale defended the decision to launch a consultation on whether to privatise Channel 4. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? Who cares if they privatise Channel 4? It's not going to change Channel 4 that much, is it? It's still going to show ads. The channel is currently owned by the government and receives its funding from advertising but could be sold off to a private buyer. It doesn't, we're not talking about that. Come on, John. This is about the TV licence, mate. Yeah, Channel 4 is alright and I don't have a problem with Channel 4 being a public service broadcaster. It gets very little from the government, although it is run by the government and the people at the top are appointed by the government, so you can't trust the news that's on Channel 4 very much the same as you can't trust the news on BBC. But at least you're not paying directly for Channel 4. They're able to fund themselves through advertising. Well, why can't the BBC do that? I just, I fail to understand why the BBC can't fund themselves through advertising. Every other channel manages to do it. Streaming services manage to fund their stuff by commercial integrations, by product placement and stuff like that, and charging a subscription service. Why can't the BBC do that? Netflix is making some amazing stuff. Even Amazon Prime's doing all right. Now, I don't particularly care for a lot of it. Now, I wouldn't pay for it separately, but I do watch it occasionally, and they're doing all right. And they even show ads before the bloody shows, even though you're paying a subscription fee. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it. Why can't you do it, BBC? Why isn't John Whittingdale talking about that? I'll tell you why John Whittingdale's not talking about that. Because he's part of the club that we're not in, and the BBC is going to be protected. And that's why so many of us need to stand up. The best way to do it is to stop paying the TV licence fee. You want to get change in 2027, stop paying it. Because the more of us that do it, the bigger the movement is. And they can't fight it forever, can they? If you want to learn a bit more about what you can watch if you don't have a TV licence and how you can cancel and all the stuff you need to know to not have a TV licence properly and legally, you'll find links below. Have a look at them. My contact details are down there as well, so you can buzz me an email. I don't reply immediately because I get loads and loads of them, but I promise I'll try my best to get round to you 
at some point if you do email me or you want to send me a letter or anything like that. All right, and um, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thank you for watching.